Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Last day of 2018, and many, many of us are ready for a new year. How Yay. about you? Yay. So, uh, I am Merle and Singer. This is Patty Negri. I'm Patty. Sorry, I'm tagging myself. Yes, I am Patty Negri. Um, we are here every morning, every Monday at 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern, and wherever you are in the middle, in the middle. And where we talk about all things relationships, finding relationships, helping relationships you may already have, um, and because we're both good at this, <laughs> or so we tell everyone. Um, so, but join us today. We always try to stay with a theme, and we have one today, if it's not obvious. It's New Year's Eve everywhere. It is New Year's Eve. Yes. We have a whole yes. new slate ahead of us. Yes. Um, look back at the year. Get what you got out of it. Forgive yourself for what you don't want out of it. Make new plans for the future and start fresh. So should we? So what? What is your opinion on? We haven't discussed this. You know. I know we haven't. We didn't discuss it today. <laughs> Usually we discuss what we're going to discuss in advance. But. So what? What is your opinion on New Year's resolutions? I think New Year's resolutions are great. I know everybody says it's a sure way to have you not follow it, but I believe in group energy. And if you're not going to follow it, you're probably not going to follow it. But it could help you follow it just a little bit more. Uh, again, having the oomph of a fresh year of the whole world making resolutions. But a, again, it's more than just saying, I'm not going to eat sugar anymore. Or I'm going to, whatever you're going to <laughs> we do. We know what's on her mind. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm starting a big diet. So you guys can keep check on me. I decided to clean it up, get my, my, my diet in line. I've been eating very badly all year, all year. And every diet I started went the opposite direction. So I'm going to start differently. Whatever I was working didn't work. So that teaches you to do it different, if nothing else. Right. So right. you guys could watch me um, get healthier and thinner as we go. So I am making a New Year's resolution. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> to wear funny hats every day, all year long. I like this. I do too. <laughs> so my, my New Year's resolution is to stay focused on my career, and I'm going to stay focused on our workshops, which is Single, Successful, and Seeking. Mm -hmm. I got a website. Uh, and I got in contact with Fiverr today. I'm going to see if I can at least get something up right away and start writing um, material for it. Uh, I'm very excited about it. I, I like I like what I came up with about the two of us. What we offer is uh, I forgot <laughs> with, <laughs> wisdom and ritual. Wisdom and ritual. And so that that works really kind of good. I what I think is important is in relationship. You do want to know which way to go, what to do, and then the ritual kind of like cements it, so that it's not it's not enough to know what to do. I mean, it's a good place to start, but then <laughs> then you need to do it, and you look terrific. It was just. Like, and so, so the wisdom lets you know what to do. The ritual cements it for you, gives you an opportunity to start doing it. Yeah, what I do, I'm, that's a part of my belief system in cosmology. But to me, it again, it gives you that tangible something. Thinking, exactly. I'm going to do this. But when you do whatever that ritual is, something you create yourself, something that's set that everybody does, a New Year's resolution, a, a spell working, a candle lighting, a burning up of what you want to get rid of. Um, we do all of those in our class, actually. We, we do ritual. It's really good. Because I, I believe, I'm, even my book coming out is all about mind, body, spirit connection. When you have all, of, if you have one out of three, it's wishful thinking. I wish I would eat healthier. Means nothing, I know. <laughs> um, two out of three is it's hit or miss. I wish, you know, mind we understand will never surpass our mind. Body has to take action. I'm going to eat healthier. I won't go to In-N-Out Burger or Jack in the Box. But the third part, the spirit, that's the untangible one. That's the one that clicks everything into gear. That's and again, that, that can be done by your religion, your belief system, prayer, going to church, going to temple. 
what we do. We talk about ritual, spell working, magic. It could be done very new age. It could be done by vision boards and affirmations. That's the secret. It's again, it's, as soon as you get the mind, body, spirit all together, that's a home run. So again, if you are going to do New Year's resolutions, don't just say whatever. Say whatever in your head that's and verbalize it verbalize i'm going to do this i'm going to eat healthier i'm going to focus on my career i'm going to find love whatever that is then your body has to take action because otherwise you're just sitting there mind body and then the spirit is do something magical that puts it into reality again whether it's writing it out on a piece of paper or carving a candle with it or or taking it to prayer or making a vision board there's not a right or wrong thing to do but just do something that makes it tangible the thing that makes it tangible is also the thing that reminds you every day. Uh, <laughs> Me too, Bradley. <laughs> um, a, a diet is, is a wonderful thing to have a tangible uh, experience with it every day. What you want to focus on with the diet, however, I would say, is what you are going to eat, not just what you're not eating. Right. Because... Glass half full. Yes. Be uh, the good wolf. Yes. All of the above. Yes. Tell them the story about the, about the wolves. Okay. Um, this is my favorite story, and it's certainly not mine. It's Native American, and many of you know it and have heard it, but maybe you haven't. So there's for everybody, and you put you fill in the blanks on yours. There's two wolves outside your door right now. One wolf has got every bad attribute you doesn't take enough time for themselves, lazy, procrastinates, whatever you think about yourself in your least good terms, <laughs> can't find love, always picks the wrong partner, whatever your thing is, that wolf is sitting right outside your door. The other wolf sitting right outside your door is all of your good attributes. You're alive, you're human, you've got maybe two eyes, you've got every good attribute that you can think of of yourself. And I personalize it when I'm with people. And then I just, and ask yourself, which wolf lives? Oh my gosh, Patty, which wolf, wolf lives? Live. And people do just that. They freak out and they either go, the good one with hope and not in oh. doubt, or they go, the bad one, right? No, it's the one you feed. It's the wolf you feed. That is so brilliant. That, feed the good wolf, kids. That is really brilliant. So every time you're thinking a bad thought about yourself, think of which wolf you're feeding. And mm -hmm. all you have to do is say, oh, wait a second. Let me look at the other wolf. What can I give that wolf? Yeah, let me feed that wolf. Yes. Not the one like, oh, dang, I picked another loser. Oh, right. dang, I blew I, my diet. Oh, dang. No. If you picked the loser, you picked it sooner. Yeah. It didn't take you this long to get there. But you picked it out. You figured it out right here, right That's now. Right. So you move on. That's right. That's exactly right. So that, so that's my New Year's resolution, and your news, you, uh, uh, you know, I'm I'm working on my weight, but I kind of, you and I've hit it a, down, girl. I've hit a little plateau, but I, I, she's been my inspiration. She's <laughs> she she gave up bread, and she really gave up I bread. Gave up, <laughs> I gave up wheat products. I really did. But I have to watch for the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> There's no wheat and chocolate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> People bring you chocolate. That's really a bad thing. But I've been, you know, uh, Trader Joe's has those big things, those big bars of chocolate, and one section a day. That. That's what I grew up doing with my daddy. I mean, it was Hershey bars. It was, but one those tiny. I wish I could have that kind of discipline now. Now it's like, well, I better eat the whole damn thing so I can get it out of the house so I can go on a diet. That's been my that working pattern. That's <laughs> what eat it all fast now. Get it out. That's how I am with bread. That's why I stopped eating it. <laughs> Nathan always brings it around. So. Yeah, so it's it. making choices. Hi, Mia. Hi, Bradley. Not Skittles. You won't give up Skittles? Okay. Oh, that's all right. They're little. They're if little. you just don't eat too many. <laughs> I can just see them now. Skittles! <laughs> 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 yeah. 
No, Bradley, one at a time. So any, anybody have anything you guys want to state on Facebook of things that you want to make on your resolution? And remember, it doesn't always have to be give up things. It could be like you. It's adding things into your life. Maybe focus on to career, focus on to relationship, or focus on to your children, or focus on to wearing funny hats. There could be a lot of things you want to add. Uh, so the resolution is to focus on it beyond January, beyond February. And to take it a step at a time and and not to be um, uh, overwhelmed by what people say, oh, you never keep it. And, and, and the truth of the matter is you have never kept it. But this is another day. This is another year. Um, let's see if, okay, you're not going to keep it the whole year. You keep it through all the way through January. Or you keep it through January and part of February. So just push it, push it ahead a little bit. Instead of asking yourself to be perfect. Okay, I think it's okay to ask yourself to be perfect. I think it's good to strive to be perfect. But when you don't make it, just pick yourself up from where you are and and Move and forward. not give up. Just keep going. Yeah. So that's. <laughs> We keep saying hi to people. So yeah, <laughs> just keep going. Pick it up. And again, though, all those people who say that New Year's resolution is they're feeding the bad wolf when they go, it'll never work. Sure disaster. No, it's not. Right. There's no sure disaster unless you decide there is. <sighs> so just decide and put some goals for yourself. It's Again, it's not just what you're giving up or what you're doing. Look at the year, because when we see it in our head, when we can smell it, when we can taste it, when we can feel it, is when we're going to live into it. If you're thinking, oh, I want a new place to live, or I want a new love relationship, but you don't see it, smell it, taste it, you're not going to get it nearly and fast or at all if you don't wake up in the morning going, this is what it's going to feel like when I have a beautiful lover next to me, or this is what it's going to feel like when I'm going to a job I really like. And you start the feeling, start the feeling, you bring it in. That's magic. So Helena says, uh, uh, by the way, she likes the wolf concept. I'm going to use a calendar and a husband to help me keep on track. So that made me think, Helena, I, uh, I must have been listening to videos or watching videos on uh, online. And this one guy talked about uh, making lists and how, oh, he was a guy being interviewed he interviewed all the successful people and how they did time management. His thing was time management. And he said none of them, none of them kept a list. They all had it on their calendar. Mm -hmm. So if, <laughs> and right, not a list on your calendar, right, on, on the, the calendar, calendar part of the calendar. And that kind of, gets you more focused on what day you're going to do that. Not just, oh, it's on my list. I mean, how many of us go back to, to 2000, 2010 and look for your list and see? If you've done it yet. <laughs> I'm sure I have things from 2010 on my list. But when I write, do laundry on Saturday at 10 a.m., it might yes. help me maybe get it done if I don't write it down. Yeah. Right. Right. That's, I think that's really the most important thing. So, um, I, I would like to ask, I don't know if it's for their New Year's resolution or for my New Year's resolution, that you would, uh, I, you can do it right now or at any time, just send us a note, put in a note like you're saying hi now, of what would be a good topic, a relate, we're on, on relationship wisdom. She's just all life wisdom <laughs> and ritual. She's just totally brilliant. We're pretty brilliant. <laughs> we're good too. Yeah. So ask us questions. Yeah. Because, you know, our head is starting to hurt thinking of all these things. Don't make us do it all ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Have a, we're having a happy new year's right here. Right My now. husband is out shopping as we speak. And so that's good. It gives us yes. gives us the house. It's good when husbands do that. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. And, and so we wish you the best, whatever you choose to do. Please follow us, like us. 
We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Patty Negri, Merle Singer, Merle M. Singer. We both have websites. We both have all the social media. She has a fabulous book that it really does crack the relationship code. Find it. Yes. My book is coming out probably the end of the month, Whoa. Old World Magic for the Modern World, which we will be pitching as soon as that's out. Yes. Um, yes. And we want to get, wish you the happiest, happiest yes. new year. Yes. We started this this year, and yes. and we're happy to end the year in, and go in, into a new one. In April, it will be a full year. Wow. Every week, people. Every, every week. week. You can count on us. We even did it from Texas. We did it from everywhere we've been. Yes. 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 Yay. Okay. All right. We love you. Happy New Year. Happy we should New have Year. your blower. Oh, I, I should have. Okay. Oh, well. Bye. Bye-bye.